show and on Sunday a happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Trev? That was just so beautiful. It just <laughs> made me think my mum, excuse me. <laughs> oh, that's better. That's better. <laughs> oh, spider. <laughs> You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we saw the last uh, a pair of players there with their mum, Duncan and Andrew Kellaway and Annette Kellaway. The Kellaway Hear boys it. are the men of the moment in football. Well, let's welcome them to the footy Thank show. <laughs> Sit right there, big. Kellaway boys. Uh, all right, Duncan, who are you going to tag this week? You got Nathan Buckley? I'm not sure. We haven't had the team meeting yet, Eddie, so yeah. I won't see. Buckley, Williams, Lecuria, I'm not sure. Yeah, Andrew, what about yourself? Um, probably one of Collingwood forwards, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about a Carlton forwards this week? <laughs> uh, Trev? Sorry, uh, I was just going to say, Duncan, it's Williams, not Williams. <laughs> <laughs> so you got caught the Eddie Millionaire thing there. <laughs> Throw the leg out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Paul Williams is a very good player. <laughs> Boys, uh, the Tigers have been absolutely sensational in the, the last few weeks, all, all season for that matter, but to be so undermanned and just keep going the way you're going, uh, what is the difference? Danny Frawley obviously down their new lease of life, but uh, yeah. it's just been great, hasn't it? Yeah, we've, I think we've won four out of the last five, so our form's been pretty good of late, and I think the the good thing is we've been winning when we've had a lot of players out injured, like, like Cambo and Richo, important players, but we sort of made do without them, which has been good. So it would be natural for everyone in the team to drop their heads when Matthew Richardson bit the dust, but uh, you haven't missed a beat so far. How do you explain that? Uh, everyone just lifts because they know there's a gap to fill? Oh, I think everyone's lifted. A lot of the younger blokes have lifted, and Spud's probably been really good with the young blokes, and we've all sort of stepped up and helped out the senior blokes. And, um, which begs the question, when he's playing, why don't you do that anyhow? Yeah, that's... Probably true. Um, Why don't you do that? <laughs> don't. Come on. <laughs> Spotted down there, he, uh, you saw him on the news during the week and he really got involved in training. He's always like that, is he? Always has a bit to say. And yeah, he gets right into it. He, he loves being one of the boys. He gets into the running, gets out there, does a lot of the hard work with us and things like that. He's actually so. quite fit still, isn't he? Yeah, he, he holds his own in the runs and things like that. So, yeah, he gets Brings back it. some mad memories for me, Ed, those two fellas, because I played on Duncan, he used to tower me up and he'd moved up into the midfield and I thought, isn't that good? And in the, his very first game, Andrew, he also towered me up. So I think Mrs Kellaway's around somewhere. I'm going to give her a clip under the ear. Yeah, <laughs> and it's over there. And it, uh, what were the boys like growing up? Were they always belting into each other in the backyard or were they good kids? Uh, actually, they didn't. They were very good boys. They hardly ever fought between themselves. Um, no, they were very, very good. And do you get nervous watching the boys in action? I get very nervous. I'm a cock case. Yeah, we were. Like to... most mothers, I think, we're, we're not very good. Yeah, you, you'll be nervous this week, I can tell you. <laughs> Eddie, apparently the, uh, <laughs> apparently the backyard matches, because they're both pretty dour defenders, you know, yeah. they throw the ball up and then just sit there. <laughs> uh, hey, did, did, is it true that you actually had uh, a real uh, crack at one of the boys, uh, fellas? Uh, which one no, popped the real um, serve off Gary Lyon? Was it you, so You would have been pretty scared, wouldn't you? Uh, <laughs> Andrew, what do you say to you? Um, oh, I might have just sort of, the elbow might have slipped a bit and got him in the chin and he wasn't too happy about that. So. I'll tell you what Good. I said, Ed. He wandered down I said, what are you doing here in your first game? And that's a disgrace to me. And then he absolutely pasted me. <laughs> <laughs> For the next three and a half quarters, I got that two touches. So I made a right dickhead of me. <laughs> Andrew, were you, were you originally on the sub list at... The Richmond? Or? Yeah, I was on the sub list for about a year and a half yeah. after playing at Sandringham. Yeah, and you've come straight off the reserves, straight on the Gary line. Yeah, yeah first game. It was pretty daunting. And, and pasted me. Thank and you. Pasted. <laughs> and uh, Andrew, you're uh, keeping things uh, in the Tiger family. That you're going out with... Oh, sorry, is it Duncan? Duncan is uh, going out with uh, Nick Holland's and Ben Holland's sister, Alexandra. Yeah, that's correct. Now, does, does Ben you know, come up and have a few words? Say, you know, look after the sister, do Yeah, no, he has a word to me every now and again. <laughs> I'll look after her. How's that all going, Annette? Everything going okay with the love life, the two of them, no problems? Well, there don't seem to be any problems. Um, it'd be very nice if something happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, Duncan, <laughs> mate, what, you, what, what about tonight on the eve of Mother's Day? A little proposal down the camera there? No, uh, not tonight. <laughs> uh, and do you go to all the games, I Annette? Do. I do go to all of them. I Inter never miss. Interstate? No, not interstate. No, 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 I wouldn't. 
stay at home. I couldn't stay at home. I've got to be there and see them. Yeah. Good, great stuff. Yeah. Well, boys, right. well, let's have a look at the teams for the big game. Around 10, it's going to be a beauty. 75,000 plus at the MCG as the Tigers take on the Maggies. <laughs> And uh, coming back in for the Tigers, Gail and Campbell. Harrison has a hamstring and Ezra Poyas has been dropped, but not because he's Jewish. Don't <laughs> let <laughs> Let's hope not, anyway. Is so there you game? go. Gail and Campbell coming in. So the Tigers starting to get some of their big names back. Last week, they were fantastic, winning by nine points against the West Coast Eagles. The seventh on the ladder, five wins and four losses. As is their opponents, the Magpies. Sixth on the ladder, five wins and four losses. <laughs> Difference being, Tigers have won four out of their last five. Maggies have lost their last four after winning the first five. But have a look at that. Wholesale changes. Edkins back from concussion. Gavin Brown back in. Nick Davis in. Josh Fraser back in. Tyson Lane. Out goes Leon Davis. Johnson, Kinnear, Wosley and Watson all omitted as uh, Mick Moulthouse swings the axe at Collingwood for the first time in season 2000. Swung the axe? That's a quarter of your team head out. It is indeed. Tucky was well... Did well last week, especially on Lepage. Kick three, I thought, Ed. What do you reckon? Pretty good? I thought Tux was very good there, was down there last Fraser week. Was Josh Fraser dropped, did he, or was he... No, he wasn't. No, he, he, was, no, he was a bit sore, so he's had a bit of a rest to get himself ready. Now, uh, a couple of the boys. What about Brad Ottens? He had a, an ankle injury during the week. He's yeah. been named. Yeah, he hasn't trained, but I think he'll have a run tomorrow, and he, he should be all right. He's coming up pretty well. And how cranked up are the Tigers to take on the Magpies, given the fact that Collingwood upset you last year by 33 points? Yeah, it was pretty disappointing last year, so yeah, we're, we've won two in a row. It'd be nice to make it three in a row. I don't think we've done that for a few years now, so... And um, there's, there, there's somebody <laughs> dropping things out the back. We better <laughs> say there's someone at the door. Hey, Hang on. Hey, Sam. Oh. <laughs> Good to be here again and see all the Collingwood supporters. I've never seen a happier bunch of people. And remember, remember this, they're, pl they're playing for the Dyer Richards Trophy and Collingwood are a certain to beat them. Put that in your pipe and smoke. <laughs> What's that, Sam? You've got new teeth, haven't you? No, I haven't. Your, your lips You've got a new head. You want one? Your lips. <laughs> <laughs> your lips not slip, slipping. Yeah, my lips the, are what? They're not slipping over the top. No, they're, they're, they're good. They're too big. They're not too big. <laughs> You're too you big. Teeth like that, You're an it? idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you. Well, just before you go. Well, we've got the two tigers. They're yeah. going to be trying to belt the hell out of the Collingwood boys on Think Saturday. No yeah. doubt about it. What? What, going right back to the days when everyone lived in Collingwood who played for Collingwood, everyone and lived in Richmond who played for yeah. the Tigers, when you were the captain of the Maggies, how tough was it when it played, came between the Maggies and the Tigers? Well, we, we, we were dead set rivals and you played Richmond at Punt Road. They used to belt the hell out of you. I played against a bloke called, at Richmond called Max Oppie, you know, and he used to wear a uh, leather guard there on his, <laughs> on his arm for some reason or other, and it was lined with cane. And he'd give you a backhander with this, and you know what? I still wake up at night time screaming, think of Max Oppie. <laughs> <laughs> That's 50 years ago. Line next to some of those shearlers you, you used to some of those shearlers the... you knock around with. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them. I tell you what, the girls he knocks around are that ugly. When you look up the dictionary and look up the word ugly, they're photographs next to it. Lord. That's a. Hey, what? Your teeth are too big. Right? Your, your, head's, <laughs> your, head, your head's too Look big. Look how big they are from a profile. <laughs> Turn around to the side. <laughs> They're bucked. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad. <laughs> Good on you, Lou. They drive you mad, up, women. Lou. Watch yourself. Good luck, boys. Thanks, Hope Lou. we beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Gary? See, see you Sunday, Lou. Good to Lou. see you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Get off. Oh, Here's the door here, mate. Thanks very much. Good on you, Thank Lou. You, Lou. <laughs> I think the Kellaway boys were a bit disappointed. They thought they were in for some entertainments and a gold nugget ham. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> Should have got the Ballantines. <laughs> Had to get rid of him. Eddie was getting the better of us. He was going very well it's there, not And of course, the old story about Jack Dye wouldn't watch TV in the old days because he hated Collingwood that much. He wouldn't watch anything that was black and white. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Boys, uh, it's going to be a beauty. That's the uh, Dyer Richards Trophy. It lives down at McHale Stadium at Victoria Park. 
at the moment, and we're very keen for it to stay that way, as you'd like to get it back to Tiger Land this weekend. Good luck right. and congratulations on the season so far. A Callaway boys, a credit to their mum and Ed over here tonight.